My journey began in Sheffield. Marta Whippet and Grace travelled up from Cheltenham and picked me up along the way. Our destination was just west of a small town called De Noon on Loch Stryven. We had a six hour drive ahead of us, but everyone was extremely excited to begin. Jamie, we'll find for you, Kim. Jeez! <laughs> We took a short pit stop in Sheffield to pump up our tyres, fill up gas and repack a bag and also introduce Grace to a pint of maggots. I'm gonna check the maggots. Oh, let's see the maggots. What are the maggots? They need to be kept cool. Ew. They're a bit like <laughs> We set off on our journey, armed with tuna sandwiches, water and our body weight in biscuits. This was mine and Grace's first time visiting rural Scotland, so we wanted to take the sights in along the way. We passed the Yorkshire Dales and headed west towards the Lake District to merge onto the M6, heading north. An update oh. with it. With it. Update. Stuck in traffic. Okay, <laughs> traffic. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> We've been there for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have an update with it. Garage. <laughs> Grace, update. Where are we? I don't know. <laughs> A garage. <laughs> How far have we got left? Yeah. <laughs> we in a bit hours. We took a short fuel and toilet break near Penry, just off of the Lake District, and about a 40 minute drive from the Scottish border. There's a blue sign! It's Edinburgh! It's Edinburgh! Leave on junction 13. Oh, With just over three hours of travel time left. Morale was high and excitement remained. It's after like 10 whiskeys and fucking 20 beers. Welcome to Glasgow! I've got like ah! an old, uh, my dad's old hi fi up there, so they've got proper boots banging street tires, so you can have it real loud. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Faster, faster, faster. to get to Whippet's house. When we arrived, we were greeted by two extremely excited dogs. We quickly learned to not pick up anything that one of them gave us. We had a short geography lesson from Whippet and called it a night, eager for the next day to begin. So my parents met in Shetland when they were both surveying up there. They both went up at 21, 24, 5, something like that. So for years they looked at houses in Shetland. But then once, I don't know, you know, kids growing up, 16, 17, and everyone's like a teenager, the idea of getting to Shetland and it's, you know, like a 15 hour journey 
probably less, but you've got to get all the way up to Aberdeen, jump on a ferry and get over to have a house is a nice idea if you can get up in a helicopter or something, you know, like quickly. But to drive, and my dad is the only driver in the family, like excluding us kids, mum's not allowed to drive for five reasons. She's not been banned from driving. <laughs> Essentially, they started looking in Scotland after my dad changed roles and fell across this place. Uh, I don't know how I don't know the story of how they found this like area, like the Dunning area, but they viewed a couple of houses, they spent like a whole weekend like driving around the whole Glasgow and up region, all around the coast, looked a couple of places and sailed on here, which is now where we are. And this is currently we are now just over a year into ownership, so like things are starting to like slowly come together. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun <laughs> Are you excited? Gosh! What about we excited? This is an actual idiot, how excited are you? We put message saying, where is this one? Where are they? Saying dad's name's Time, mom's name's Rebecca. By the way, guys. What? It says Time, T I M E. We both know Whip it can't spell, but I'm assuming it's, unless he means Tim, but it might be Time. <laughs> I have to find out. <laughs> You're testing the waters, not me. <laughs> yes. Where are we going? For a tour. For a tour. For a tour. Got a nut, baby. You went trackies? Yeah. Day two began early. We were all super excited to see where we were and to be able to see it in the daytime. We woke up, grabbed a quick coffee and breakfast and head off to explore the grounds surrounding Whippet's house. where I have like the hanging cabin idea, like two hanging cabins in the tree line looking over the lock That'd to sell sick. for quite a reasonable price per night. We visited the base of the log cabin that we would eventually attempt to finish and discussed some building plans. So the reason being it's here, A it's on our land. Yeah. So we have less things to worry about because I did want to do it way up the glen. Yeah. But it's a bit nice to have it on your own land, which is why it's here. You can see the house, which I didn't like to begin with, but to be honest, it's close enough to like actually like have people do it. So. Jump! Try to jump from here? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Do you want to jump <laughs> past the stuff? Woo! That's not really aggressive. Hell. To be fair, if you want to go down that way, it's a bit better. <laughs> I missed that! <laughs> <laughs> it's basically the same as this, slightly steeper, except we will have walked past no houses for a very long time. So either we, we, we could kayak from here, but we'd be fucking shattered. How'd you get up there, Grace? I climbed. God, you're just so wild. Amazing, I'm so wild, honestly. After a short stroll on the beach, we went on a hike with the goal of finding the perfect hammock spot to bed okay. down for the next few days. Walking. We crossed rivers, walked through ferns, trees, and rock paths, but eventually found the perfect spot.
Light feet, light steps. Twinkle toes. If you think that, you will. Hi. Hi. You had a good day? Yeah, pretty good. good. You? Yeah, not bad. Awesome. What are we doing now? Well, you and Rupert are fishing. Me and Grace are very on the beach. After a quick history lesson about a gorge at the end of the river, we decided to got, head to Jamie? the beach to try and catch some dinner. Unfortunately, neither of us have much experience sea fishing, so we called it quits and headed back to the house. <laughs> Update from Whippet. Better need to put some sprints. Whiskey. I've been out to feed the uh, the racing pigeon that we've acquired. <laughs> and I tried to I gave him some cornflakes, he, he ate from my hand and then I got attacked by midges, so we need to put some smidge on. Because it's unbelievably still out there. Oh, us. now it's still. Yeah, literally, it's like <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Heading to the wilderness. Heading to the wilderness. Heading to the wild. <laughs> We're walking to the beach. I bought myself a gin. I hope it's not too strong, but we'll find out later. <laughs> if I'm like on what the are you going to the beach for? Um, sunset? I don't know. We're just going to the fire? beach for fire. And popcorn. And popcorn. Yeah. because we're cheating and we don't want to be there for a million years. They can see it in the video. We chilled on the beach for a while and anticipated the journey ahead. Tomorrow we'd be heading into the Scottish wilderness with a hammock where we would sleep for three nights. The Duke of Whippet had begun. Are you excited? Yes. What are we doing? Camping. How? We're in the hammock. Is it your first time? Yes. A yeah, hammock virgin. Yes. Hey, bro. Do you want to come camping? Look, well, you didn't have anything that time. You just pretended to put something in front of me. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Day three was a slow burning morning. We had breakfast and packed up our things and headed to our hammock spot. Hold your bags. Spot potential. What are you doing, Jamie? Right. I'm not looking at my knot. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, <I'm> not... <laughs> that was what I just. Woo! Really? I can't even pick TV. Yeah, this looks. This is. I think you're the same time as well. Yeah, yeah. Can you breathe? You good? Hey neighbour! Why are you so close, man? <laughs> Ooh. We're in my hammock. <laughs> you're liking the sea of blue. Am I? Yeah. I'm in my hammock. Pan. Very comfy. Loving it. 
Never been on live television. Never been on national <laughs> television. <laughs> So this is my hammock, this is Jamie's hammock, this is Whippet and Martin's hammock. How you feeling Whippet? It? It's turned out alright actually. Yeah? At one point it was a bloody disaster. <laughs> Whippet was like, I'm moving. <laughs> I'm not staying here. Get your bed in. Completed bed! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! <laughs> we collected firewood, water and dried our shoes. Other than that, we sat back, relaxed and enjoyed the nature around us. With nothing but the sound of the fire crackling, river flowing, and the birds tweeting, we watch the day go by from the comfort of our hammock. Okay, so you keep moving your. There we go. <gasps> Blood. Gore! Guts! Everyone else has just gone there to catch firewood. I probably look high as a kite, but I'm not. It's just we're burning wet wood, so we're trying to find some dry wood. <laughs> I gotta look at my eyes. I know this is such such a good setup, man. Like we've got the got our hammocks, we've got the river, we've got plenty, like, we've got drinking water down there. We've got curry that we're about to cook in a second. Oh, but no, this is so nice. Like, I'm with my best friends and my girlfriend hammock camping in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> the weather's been, like, on and off. Um, we're pretty weatherproof to be honest unless we get some really really bad wind and some bad rain um other than that we should be we should be fine the only other problem is probably with the animals I switched my phone off at the start of this trip and so I have no concept of time, no concept of, of where we are or anything like that or the weather predictions. All I have is what we can see and it's just we're so out of touch with the world and just this just kind of it just puts, puts everything into perspective a little bit. It's nice. Calling it a night. Just had a hot chocolate. And we are now getting to sleep. The weather's taking a turn. But we should be alright. It's very, very foggy now. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yep. <laughs> You're right. Day four began with a bit of an atrocity. Whippet fell in the freezing water of the Scottish River. After drying him off and making sure he was warm, me and Grace decided to make him feel better by immersing ourselves in the river too. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
like a series of unfortunate events. Uh, don't do that with your phone. <laughs> I'm really sorry, babe. It's quite shaky because I'm cold. <laughs> oh, get a photo switch because my butt's getting like warm, like I've got hypothermia. <laughs> okay, wait. We decided it was best if we headed back to home to warm up and dry our clothes before climbing the biggest hill in the vicinity for our lunch spot. Now. So I've broken two glasses today, what, what, and one today, and I fell in a river. We've already had that part, what are we doing now? Oh. <laughs> we said we haven't had an update yet. No, I meant from you, in the whole trip. There you are. Have we? No. I don't think we have. I don't know what to say. We are doing back. Everyone's yeah. slowly passing the Duke of Whippet Award. <laughs> That's what you have to call okay. this fi film, the Duke, Duke of Whippet. <laughs> I actually am going to call it that. Though. You should, genuinely. <laughs> it was a genuine suggestion. That's it. We found the title. <laughs> what are you making, Jay? Spam. Spam, spam, more spam. Your spam, sir. This is Whippet's first ever taste of spam. Take a nice bit. It's a nice bit of spam. Ah, that's not that's like a nice bit. Oh, he loves it. He bloody loves it. <laughs> what? The batch is low. Oh, with its parents came to see our camp and chilled by the fire with us. We had a few beers, cut some corn, and talked about life without a care in the world. sat by the campfire for like a good five hours. I don't even know what the time is. It's a good, it's probably midnight now, it's oh, pitch it's tropical black. Midnight. We are using fire they're fine. They're as a light. Oh, that's but we are calling it a night now. We've just had a few whiskeys, 
some nice Thank mac you. and cheese with some chorizo. And we just sat warming up by the fire and then we are going to bed. And we're probably having a third night here tomorrow. But we're going out we're on the kayaks to catch some fish <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's up on that mountain now! <laughs> <laughs> After three nights hammock camping, we absolutely fell in love with the idea of it and wanted to stay for another night, despite the storm warnings. It's time to kayak and actually catch a fish. We are catching a fish today. After a failed attempt the other day, we're going out in the kayaks with some bait, with two rods. We're catching a fish and we're gonna eat it on the barbecue. Is it? Yeah. Come up. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Do you also solemnly swear? Do you also solemnly swear <laughs> that if Grace struggles to follow instructions if grace struggles to follow instructions or has questions or has questions i will not snap back i will not snap and back and answer politely and answer politely <laughs> high five <laughs> Yes. We just got the best fucking drone footage ever. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Not like. Man. <laughs> Man make fire with water. <laughs> <laughs> After kayaking for a couple of hours and failing again to catch a fish, we headed back to camp. That was good. <laughs> so we just got back to the camp after a day of fishing, kayaking and just having fun. And it's due a really big storm tonight. Um, we checked AccuWeather and everywhere and it's blowing in and it might, might be very big. So I'm gonna get everyone's predictions and then see if it's anti climax or hit the nail on the head. Oh, I don't think it'll be that big. Okay. I think it'll be Mediocre at best. I think it's gonna rain relatively heavily for maybe like two hours and then it will stop. It's gonna be a rain's pretty much non stop rain, I think. Um, you think it's gonna be bad? I don't think the rain's gonna be necessarily bad, but it's gonna rain all night, so we're gonna have a very wet morning. No, it's not number one. It's not number one. It's on the sun. <laughs> Root strength, I'm going to break this with my bare hands. We sat and waited for a storm that never came. We thought we got lucky. So we sat and whittled some chess pieces and then decided to go to bed. We're just about to go to bed. Well, we're gonna have a hot chocolate and then go to bed. The weather's not come in yet, but it's been a light drizzle since we got here and the temperature's dropped quite a bit. So we are expecting a storm at some point. So we're We've buttoned down the hatches, we've we've fixed a few holes with some bin bags and we've got an emergency kind of system going. 
so we're going to be alright. I'm just on cue. Get a hot chocolate. You had fun, Grace. Yes. Of course. Good. We all woke up in the middle of the morning at about 5 a.m. to heavy rain and decided to call it. It's not that bad. It's only a bit of rain. You're right, Grace. So consensus is the storm was too much. <laughs> no, we we failed ourselves with a poor setup. I think we are we're, we're wet from both sides, uh, <laughs> and it's also condensing. Um, water's piling up everywhere, and we're just just not having fun. So I think we're gonna pack up. It's a shame. Basically, the update is we went, we woke up at five, was tipping down my brain, so we packed up pretty swiftly. We're back at about half six, seven at the house. Then we had a really nice breakfast, got dressed, got warm. Then we drove to the local town, Dundee. Dundee. Went, Dun Dundee. Dun Dundee, miles away. <laughs> Dun Dun, can you say it? Dun Noon. Um, and then we got our food shop, got lots of yummy food, came back, napped, and now it is half five. We're having showers and cleaning and getting ready for party night. We decided to pack up the camping and let the storm pass and had a party night instead. We had wine, steak, chips, and vegetables in preparation for our big day of starting the build on the log cabin. That was obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> that was obviously not. back the pieces of my mind. I know how to. What did you have? What's this roll on double cream? Did you enjoy your tea? I didn't have a tea, but I had a drink. <laughs> your steak. Oh. Your ste <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I want a steak. It was good, right? Yeah. Now I'm thinking soup or veggie soup. sausages or toast all in one Swiss roll. Do you want to cook us out for the night? Like, this is all going in. <laughs> Do you want to clock us out for the night? That is bedtime. So, say good night. Tired, <laughs> <laughs> wet. Yes. Bit of lardy potatoes. So we headed down to the beach to recover from our hangovers. The plan for the day was simple, to start the build on our log cabin. Let's go. I can I prefer staying further than you? I think we know you can. Hello. 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 
envelope. Um, we are moving materials over to the log cabin. Log cabin, it's not a log cabin yet. It's gonna be though, isn't it? It's gonna be a great, great log cabin. Tarp. Tarp. Got the nails. Near Whippet's house, there's a forestry commission where we had access to a lot of scrap wood. We had nails, hammers and saws and went at it without a real plan. We're just getting the tarp up to protect us from the wind and the rain. It's not a pretty shoddy job, but I think we're going to be safe. Well, we're, re we're reusing materials. We're reusing materials and it's going to be very hidden. The idea was simple. To build a cabin that was waterproof and weatherproof to sleep three or four people. We soon realised it was a lot harder than we were expecting. Come into my humble abode. With its humble abode. Here we're going to have a lovely view looking out on the river. It's going to be a nice log stove at the back, fairy lights. Is that it? Yeah. And take us for the build quality. Hmm? And take us for the build quality. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dinner. What are we having? Me and Matt are having fish cakes, boys having pie, and we have some roasted potatoes. Yeah, just trust, leave it on for now. <laughs> so the last couple of days they've been really slow, we've just kind of just dropped. We've been so tired after like the first few days of camping and all, like lugging things to camp, carrying wood, carrying backpacks, doing this, doing that. Um, started a lot of cabin, took it slow yesterday. Today we're gonna try and get it at a good level to sleep in. I've got two more tarps. We've got one of that bit that's going to cover this bit. But I'm just going to finish the book. With fresh eyes, we headed back to the log cabin with a new idea. Get our heads down and just start hitting things in. That'll do. Fuck it. We're going to have to get the chisel and carve into it. Worm wax to wax. Joe wax. No. Two wax. J. J. G. W. M. A whip it. It's not very good. G. I got troubles. I got sins. I'm my worst. If this can get chopped off, we'll let, we'll let, sort of, we'll let another one above so here. It's showing it's actually pretty sick, isn't it? We made a hell of a lot of progress this day, and even successfully created a window Ready? that you could open and shut. Yes! 
<laughs> we have a window. I think most of the time it will live like that. Yes. And like this bottom bar. They gave us a rough idea though, didn't Yeah, they? we need to put the bottom bar somewhere. We have a foldable window. We worked long into the evening with different jobs and eventually made a lot of progress on the inside and the outside. It was nearly weatherproof and it was nearly time to sleep inside it. So, I'm just going to take you through our cabin in the woods, hidden from view, in a very, very remote area of Scotland, overlooking this loch behind all the trees. First, we have a log chopping area. Eventually, we're going to get some rocks from the sea, put them up here for steps, probably just this area here. We have the cabin with tops on each side. We're going to use as like a like an eco garden as insulation, so we're going to get some rocks, some mud, some ferns and some stuff going up here. We're going to have some air insulation in the middle. We've got some cladding coming down, and that's going to fill the entirety, ins the entirety of the inside. And at the back, we've got a potential fire pit spot just here, and Whippet's going to eventually build a chimney to go through here. So we just had some pasta and it's absolutely nailing it down now. We're gonna play some games, chill, have a chat, have a couple of whiskeys and then go to bed. So I've said no camera tonight. This is the last video of the day. So yeah, good night for tonight. What happened last night? We had um, loads of chicken pasta. It was delicious. Mm. Then we had some drinks and played Articulate. <laughs> so windy. <laughs> um, we played Articulate and then we all gave each other matching tattoos. But today is our final day. So we are doing all the boring stuff like cleaning the house, packing up our kit, getting the kayak back up from the sea, and having a curry to celebrate, and a few whiskies. And maybe a movie. And maybe a movie. Yes! Yes! Where's Marta? Oh, she's in Looking at my spot. Yeah, like a lot of this will like evaporate off when you actually are in here with the fire. Yeah. What's the verdict? Is it weatherproof? Not quite yet. To the beach, beach, let's go get away. <laughs> Fuck oh. yeah, with your little but like, fringe. But like, look, listen, you look listen, like listen. a little schoolgirl and you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> These are the bands. <laughs> 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 Bang! <laughs> Let's go to work. Stick, stick, point, and stick, 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 collected big rocks from the beach as insulation and then started putting ferns and the entire forest on top of the cabin hoping that eventually the forest would start growing over the cabin and it being completely hidden from view it's very nearly done and everyone's super proud about it very nearly done uh, it's nice are you all proud? yeah Good. 
still three quarters left to do. What's the plan? We go in on a nice easy walk, we're gonna drive to a nice spot and then go for a walk and we're gonna take some lunch. Cool. drive up the coast to one of Whippet's favourite spots and went for a big walk. We took some lunch and then eventually realised that we didn't have everything we needed. It's final day the Duke of Whippet and this is our leisurely walk <laughs> through the forests, up mountains, down to the sea. This is not very leisurely at all. But hey ho, this is, uh, we're going for Gold Award, Duke of Whippet. Fucking seven hours for some beans, and we don't have any matches. <laughs> no way. <laughs> nope. I'd rather walk home. Fucking. We've got our matches. So we found a bit of wire. We're gonna try and make some sparks from a battery for the torch. Do you think there's a chance? For there's a love to be real I'll let you take the wheel As the day drew to a close, we started to realise how good a trip we had and we started to reminisce about other things that we've done Nine days in Scotland A wild camp with hammocks A swim in a river And we built a log cabin What an amazing trip <laughs> Oh for fuck's sake <laughs> You farted. Uh. <laughs> Where can we get a takeaway sushi for child number? Like, I was just looking at that tree and I was like, oh, imagine if it would like come alive. You should like two foot to the left so I can get a big deal. Yeah, and like you were all friends and you'd go in the forest they are and you'd all have like a conversation. It's so weird, I can't imagine having a boner. What if we can have dick? I know. <laughs> I would love to, I'd love to have a penis for a day. What's the purpose of killing a when we were cave? I'm ready now. I'm ready now. You better be ready. Maybe they only had sex in the morning when they woke up? Maybe. That's why you get morning glory now? I don't know. It's so short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone Google morning glory. It's quite long, though. It's so Wait a minute, long. Wait a minute. If you fucking... <laughs> I'm not gonna win it. I could sit in this room and talk to these people all day. And that's what we did. For hours. Scotland had touched a part of us all and we would soon be back to finish our number one goal. To build the cabin and to sleep in it comfortably. But for now, this is the end of our Scotland trip. We say goodbye to these stunning views and go back to our normal lives. Until next time. It's treating me well. Listen to me story. Can you see my feet or not? No. Having been here before, as it's my parents, I kind of knew what we were expecting to do. As the one, like, planning, if you want to call it planning, I was like, oh, we can do this, we can do that. But, having said that, it was all like a pipe dream and an idea because I've never wild camped around here. I've never encamped around here. Like we've done like the North Coast 500 with Marta, but that's 500 miles that way. So I've only ever walked around the ground, like the ground, where well, it's not the grounds, where we are. Explored it, been out on the kayak like once. Other than that, just slept in the house. So expectation wise, 
I think it far surpasses it really. Like I've walked around the Glen loads, but what we did, like, well, you know, you just, it's just more exploring, I guess. And you're like in that tiny section of land. It's mad what's there. So, I mean, great. I was, I, I've been dreaming of doing it ever since we came in, you know, so it's nice to finally do it. Bloody exhausting though. <laughs> like, really fucking tiring. It's definitely a m lot more what Whippy wanted, that's for sure. <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good because I probably wouldn't do it otherwise. Are you glad that you did? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. You enjoy the adventure? I do, yeah, and it's nice because I probably wouldn't do it if it was purely up to myself and well obviously I don't have a house in Scotland so it's not as if I can do it but yeah it's it's good to like actually do it if you know what I mean like have someone to like push you almost to do it and then you actually do it <laughs> he's, he's, like, <laughs> he's just saying like yes no it's it, yeah because otherwise I wouldn't do it yeah. so it's good to like come up here and like have someone be really keen to do these things. And kind of know what they're doing. Yeah, so yeah, because I've never, I've never done anything like wild camping or even camping or trekking with like big bags and all that kind of stuff. I've never done it before in my life until like last year. You seem to enjoy it though. I do, I really do enjoy it. I think, yeah, I think I need like that first, like initial push and then I actually will do an arena book. So I, I really like, I do love like walking and all that kind of stuff, but I just don't know why I wouldn't do it on my own behalf. Um, I didn't really have any expectations. I just accepted that whatever was going to happen was going to happen. I was going to be there and I was going to have to do it whether I liked it or not. Um, and I wasn't very good at checking the group chat. So I really didn't know what this was going to entail. But I thought that I would enjoy it less. That was my expectation. I thought I'd be in the rain, crying, lost, <laughs> um, not enjoying myself. Well, not that, but I definitely thought it would be, I don't know. Harder? Harder. Cool. Cheers to the Duke of Whippet. Yeah, the Duke of Whippet. I am